Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is the Gizwiz, episode 1436, recorded October 1st, 2013, The Chaddington Maneuver. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by lynda.com. Learn what you want, when you want, with access to over 2,000 high-quality online courses and training videos, all for one low monthly price. Try it free for seven days. Visit lynda.com slash gizwiz. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. This week... Dick's got some great gadgets. I got some g- type of gadget. It's going to be awesome. Let's get into the show. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D. And, and OMG Chad on Twit TV. It's time for the gizmos because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the gizmos now. 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 Welcome. Whoa! 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 That has ran into the craziest. Um, what are the? What's the technical term uh, for these guys? Anyone know? Maybe the sure chat room. Those? Chat room yeah. knows. Um, but we've had that forever. Uh, well, it's not a lava lamp. Plasma lamp. Ah, uh, that. Is oh, a, plasma a, lamp. A plasma lamp. And wow. uh, we've had that in here uh, forever. I think that it used to live in Leo or Lisa's house. And, oh, it's Liz's. Do you like it? I've heard, I heard a rumor that whoever owned that lamp despised it. No? Liz, Liz is confirming that that is not true. It has been a false rumor uh, predicated by our horrible tech news um, you know, agencies. I could put that to bed yeah. right because, now. Because, you know, when you really love something, the best way to display it is on the floor behind a heavy curtain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that with an object it. flying at it from the beginning of the show, exactly. knocking it over. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. No, you can, you can tell. Um, yeah. How have you been this I've week? I've been good. You know, I'm also amazed at the flawless way they have re-edited the opening theme. So you know, that your name, it, uh, you know, I thought it was like it was just <laughs> written that way. I, it seems like there was producers and producers who spent hours and hours combing over every minute note of that intro to make sure that, that I was recognized. Um, and I've, I feel pretty good about it. You know, we did that yeah. for you, Chad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, some other guy worked really hard on that intro. I'm glad that you noticed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, this show starts like at five, and like one minute to five, they were saying, "Should we be doing something here with Chad's name?" <laughs> then one minute after five, they were like, "Are we still supposed to be doing something?" Something. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. What have you been up and, to this last week? Anything uh, fun? Let's see. Well, a little bit of both. You know, New York is having freaky weather. It's 80 degrees as we're taping this. And tomorrow it's going to be 85. So wow. I'm going to do a little boating tomorrow. Cool. Because, yeah, awesome. Crazy, crazy awesome. weather here. Well, I guess let's go ahead and get into the show. What is the first gadget you have for us this week. Dave. Okay, well, you know, there was a little event a couple days ago called Time to Play. And Time to Play is a fun place to go to find gadgets that toy companies expect will be big this holiday. And the first one is very clever. This is called the Show Cam, okay? Huh. So this, this is for kids three and up. So you don't want them to have your digital SLR camera. So you give them their own. So what's different about this little camera, it, it's for ages three to seven. <laughs> if okay. you're eight, get out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it takes digital pictures, but a couple of neat things is there's a little lever on the side. By the way, all the buttons are giant buttons, so a kid won't have any trouble operating it. After you take a digital picture, you push a lever down, the camera becomes a projector. 
Oh, whoa. So you can then project the pictures on the wall. But oh, you don't wait. have to worry about kids, like, you know, spending all of your, uh, your, your printer paper, your, your expensive, um, uh, you know, photo paper to get their pictures out. They can just project it on the wall. They can project it on the wall. And then you can do something else is there's a big yellow button called the silly button. <laughs> and when you push the silly button, then you can go through 50 different effects, pick one of them, and then take a picture of you. Oh, there you are, Chad. Oh, oh look goodness. at that. Yeah, yeah. And then, Chad, there's a, there's a little animation uh, built into it, too. So it takes your picture and then animates the picture. And you can project all that on the wall. And then if you do actually want to print out some pictures, um, there is a USB out on the camera. So you can download the still pictures. It, does, it won't let you download the animations. And, and Ted, there's a little speaker system in here. So as you project it, it plays little uh, oh, like disco songs. music. Yeah, it is very clever. It's... Um, Fifty nine ninety nine, and on Amazon it's forty nine ninety nine, and no software is needed. Uh, I, I'm looking uh, here now. I, I see it's forty nine eighty eight. If the ten cents makes a difference to you, <laughs> and it, there's sort of a, a gray turquoise one for boys, and then there's a more colorful. I think it's uh, a they're pink white, one pink, and purple. Yeah, yeah, exactly for girls. So it's very clever. Um, it's from Play School, and it is. The show cam. Any idea on what size pictures these take? You know what? They're yeah, they're, they're they're very small. They're yeah. uh, when you download them. There. What's the minimum resolution? Six hundred and forty. Ooh, yeah. yeah. By fourteen. Yeah. By it sounds like four eighty. Yeah. Uh, if it's sixty nine. Something like that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but you so know, it's not going to be great. archival. You're not going to probably keep these around <laughs> no, no, forever. You're not, not going to do weddings with this. <laughs> right. But I mean, know. like, if you, I, I'm thinking that if, you know, as you grow older, you'd want to see the pictures that your kids took. And if, if they're in really low quality, that, that might be a little bit of a bummer. Well, um, well, you know, you can look on my website. There's a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason, can you go to gizwith.biz? And there are two there that I just shot right before the show and uh, put up on the screen. So uh, there they are. They're <laughs> You know, it's funny. It, there's no way you can't laugh at at these. These yeah. are really. Uh, this They're is a, a perfect gift. Yeah, it's funny for for <laughs> around eighty dollars. Uh, uh, no, forty nine dollars. Forty nine if you get on. Yeah, yeah. just wow, wow, wow. Um, it's funny. It is funny. And yeah, and it even has a little Pico projector smiling. in there. Yeah, the little, it, it really, little, every single time I saw the photos, even on the website, it, it made me laugh. And that's that's if you're gonna make me laugh, you know, kids, God, they're they any they'll laugh at anything. Oh yeah, no, you're you're very difficult. You're, you know, yeah. it's, I have it's, such discerning discerning tastes that I don't yeah, even know the word I mean, discerning. You are, when Leo said Chaz gonna host, I said Leo, I'm gonna have to get some really highbrow stuff because yeah, no, I that, require that caviar man. poured on all of the gadgets that <laughs> are reviewed and then wiped off, so I don't. Get that weird caviar stank. No, exactly, exactly. So, All right, so that's one. So if if you had um, now now, okay, yeah. Do you think that you'd be getting this for grandchildren or anything like that? Uh, it's going to be a long time before I have grandchildren. So. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I think kids are going to love it. Yeah, uh, I agree. And, and there's enough. There's enough stuff in there. That I, I I think it'll keep them entertained for a while, doing the animations and, and the music and and uh, putting on little slideshows for their friends, and, and as I said, very easy to use. The software's in there. The only time you'd probably need a parent's help is maybe downloading the pictures to uh, to your computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, well, that seems yeah. like a great gift. Okay, so what is the next thing you got? Uh, the for next us? thing is from the same event. Uh, I found two things at a, uh, at that event, and the second thing is from Razor, the people who do scooters. Oh, not the laptop company? <laughs> no, not the lap, not the people who make the mouses and yeah. the keyboards. And, and uh, so Razor has something called Crazy Cart, and that I did shoot a little bit of video, and uh, let's show that now. The Dean Bartolo and Mads Madis try to end the Gizwiz with one take theater here on Twit. We're at an event called Time to Play, and you know what we're doing? 
<laughs> We're taking time to play. I'm here with Sheena from Razor. Now, about a year, maybe two years ago, I had the Razor 5 Lux, or was it the Lux 5? The A5 Lux. A5 Lux, okay, and we rode through Riverside Park. Well, this is the newest from Razor, and Sheena, what is this device called? This is the new crazy cart. It's an electric powered <laughs> drifting go kart. It's made so for it's adults super too. Super fun. You can ride it like a regular go kart, or you can pull up on the drift bar for crazy spins and drifting. Crazy spins and drifting. Those are my attorneys, by the way. Uh, and how much does this guy sell for? Uh, it's a retail for $3.99 at Toys R Us exclusively. Okay, and it runs on electric. Uh, there's no gas or anything, right? It's all electric powered. It has two 12 volt batteries. And if I, how do you, how do you charge it, and how long will it run for once it's charged? You just charge it in a wall outlet overnight, and then it will run for um, a little over an hour um, of continuous riding. Oh, excellent! So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, we're in a very tight uh, space here, but I'm just going to see if I can spin it around. That wire. And so I'm going to hand you oh, the mic. Great. Okay. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I know. I know. That's about. 30 oh. people Woo. in the yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh. You have an emergency break, too. You can go yes. drifting. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> but she... You know what? Is, is there any place around here to really ride this? I can't do it in here. Oh, let's just take it outside through the doors. Okay, we're going to go right outside, and oh. the next time you see me, I'll be on this. And there's a great place right behind this building. Let's go. And I, the great thing is that I can keep my head straight even when I spin. <laughs> Whoa, you turn, it turned you young. Look at oh, that. You know, it, it makes me feel young. Oh, wow. There I am. There I am in the back now. I changed pants. <laughs> but isn't this great fun? Wow. Um, it goes uh, 12 miles admit, an hour. That looks a little bit more dangerous now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> than, than when I was using it. Yeah, wow. Um... And so, uh, what what speeds does this get? Oh, okay, uh, twelve miles an hour is the top speed. And that's fast. It, it is fast, and and it has two modes. So it has go kart mode. So that's if you want to just you know race somebody else in it. And then it has crazy card, uh, crazy cart mode. So that's for spinning, zigzagging, driving in any direction. It's pretty much the way I drive in New York City because. Oh, yeah. I have I've never owned a car, um, and then so just that the, the, that big handle that that you said was a brake. You in the down position, you're racing it. In the up position, it just starts doing all these weird contortions. You can spin 360 degrees while staying in place. Um, so you charge the battery overnight, and then you get. Um, Sheena said you get about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes of ride time in the video oh. it looked like people like there, there were adults in there you know it's what there they, they were uh, it, it's very funny it, it's only available at toys r us and uh, on the toys r us website it says uh weight limit 136 mm -hmm. pounds the razor website says 140 pounds but uh she told me david letterman has written written in it and yes in that video it does look like another adult uh, yeah I mean, I, it, on the Toys R Us website, I wouldn't even, I, I'd be too heavy for the maximum weight of 132 pounds. So, I don't know how that guy in the, of course it was running in it, but wow, that looks so fun. Now, the price is definitely not um, as inexpensive no. as the no, camera. No, it is not. The, 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 no, the list price is $399.99. And um, Toys R Us is having a special just for about a week. I think I think it's in effect now and it ends October fifth and it's three fifty nine ninety nine and you get the cart and the two twelve volt batteries. Huh, cool. Yeah. On a technical side, what how it looks like the back wheels are pivot wheels. How does it does they, it do you they, know if it drives they, from the front? You know, I don't know. Uh I, I think it does. And then the the four casters in the corners yeah. are are for stability. Crazy, so, crazy. Yeah, that no, looks like now, a lot now that of fun. They rec See, when you when you outgrow the camera, you go directly into this. Right. <laughs> this is recommended for kids nine and up. So. <laughs> 
For two years, you'll have nothing to do. The, can, the, the, the show can, people say, from three to seven. You can end your career in photography and begin your career in stock car racing. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Are you tired of those little animated cartoon things? Well, let's get out on the road with your own crazy car. Soon we're going to be kicking out of the house and you're going to have to learn how to drive. So get going. Get out of yeah. here. Exactly, exactly. Wow, that looks like a so that, lot that, of fun. That's fun. So cool. those were two two toys uh, that I found at Time to Play. Awesome. Okay, what's what's your third gadget? You know, the third thing, actually, you're going to help with this because oh. Oh. Uh, I, I got a call from a PR lady who said, uh -huh. I have a new iPhone case. And, and, and I said, Madam, unless this, like, makes toast or does something different, yeah. we are just iPhone case out. And she said, no, it's very different. Um, and she explained what it did. And I said, you know, that sounds good, but I don't even have an iPhone. Would you send it to my co-host in California so he could show it? And so so you have an envelope? Do you have a secret envelope Yeah, I there? do. So right around here, it's actually been hidden from, I think it's... Okay, back it's behind, behind your lap. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, yep, right, it's, yep. It's, mm -hmm. there it's you go. been okay, labeled so with Chad on the front of it. Wow. It's Boy, they, they, are, they are amazing. Yeah, they knew it was coming to me. They they had us, oh. it looks like a script writer, maybe some, it looks like some fancy. Uh, it's hand signed. Yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably I mean, a, graphic, a graphic artist, I think. They, that's here a, that's on the front. artisanal signature. Yeah, this looks yeah. really nice. Um, and it, it's in red, I believe, to match the hair. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. very close match. It's very, very close. close, very close. Okay, so we're going to just pull this open. I feel like, uh, and the winner is... And the winner is... Uh, iPhone. Uh, Whoa, okay. okay. So, huh. Now, so it looks like, originally, right off the bat, it looks like a, a Mophie case because it looks like it has yeah. an extra battery back there. I know, but you know, it's so funny is because I don't think that's... The I look at the back. And it tell does. Me it has some fancy different. stuff okay, happening at okay. the bottom. Oh, okay. So, so I'm gonna take this is uh I'm taking an iPhone five. Five. Okay. I happen to have and slide it right in, and it's very it's very nice. It's but a very tight. There's right, definitely okay. some. So it looks like. I, I don't know. It looks like there. It's it's all normal except when you get down here. You got these little wings. These metal wings down here. Right. Okay, Walk so me now through what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, is just pick up pick up either wing. Okay. With the that's it. Whoa! It turns from little wings into a thing you can plug into your wall. Right. So it is the first iPhone case with its own built-in AC charger. Wow. Pocket plug. So it's actually a fairly decent uh it's it's polycarbonate. So yeah. you can tell me if it seems like a secure case. It, it and it really in the hand it feels uh, just like you would expect an external case to feel like. It's a uh, nice um, smooth sort of plastic. Uh, it's that it's that kind of fogged yeah, over plastic. Yeah, polycarbonate, right? Exactly. Yeah, uh, it has some nice grips on the side. It has uh, windows for for what you would expect up down uh, mute and sleep wake button. Um, right, and then they mold it in uh, down toward the bottom so that the sound from the speakers get. A it gets propelled projected. towards forward, you forward. instead of exactly. down. Um, exactly. And just on the back, it's just rocking an actual plug with the coolest design I've ever seen for storing a plug. Where, yeah, you pull just one out and it snaps in. And uh, it looks like, yeah, it even has the... the uh, Positive negative sizing, maybe? I'm No, I don't think uh, so. Maybe you could plug it in upside down or you could plug it in right that, side up. Yeah, that's a good... That, that's... that's uh Good. So and it's even a way then, to... it also let's say you're at a play at an airport and there are just no plugs around, uh, but you happen to have a USB cable uh, for your PC. Uh, it does have a micro USB cable uh, plug up here in the top, so you're never left without power. That is correct. We are getting that... uh, Liz is is <laughs> delivering right now portable power uh, for us to use. Um, in the form of this, so we can test oh, it out okay, right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. And let's just go ahead and plug it you in. You have an entire staff out there at your beck and call. And I know it's right. It's yeah, insane. All I have, all I have insane. here is Myra, who just comes in and says, "Is there anything to eat?" <laughs> Do it for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, basically, you can see if I go ahead and, and sleep it, it'll wake up once you start charging. If I plug it in without touching the phone. 
It's charging. You can see iOS 7 charging the phone. There you go. So it's called uh, Pogo Plug right now. It's it's just out, so it's only available on the company website. Go Prong. It's the company's name. Um, and depending on the model, uh, fifty nine ninety nine to sixty nine ninety nine. Uh, coming out very shortly is the Galaxy Three, and I assume they're working on the Galaxy Four. I don't know why they went to the three first instead of the four, but. Um, I'm not the company. Um, right. So pocket plug, go pro, go prong, go prong. I would go. highly recommend it. It seems it seems really really great. Liz, it, Liz is actually the owner of the uh, of the iPhone that I used. Liz, would you buy something like this? Do you think? I'm stealing this. She says she's stealing it. We're not getting it she's back. Stealing it. You know what? Oh. I will tell them that we <laughs> that we showed it on the air and it disappeared. <laughs> Yep, Liz is permanently and, and the borrowing and, right, the GoPro. And the, and the company said, oh, that means Liz has it. Because yes, our yes. reputation is just throughout the industry. <laughs> All right, so, uh, That's a good okay, endorsement, Liz, though. If you put something on a phone and then you never want to take it off again, great endorsement. Endorse. Perfect. 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 And uh, I guess it's time to endorse someone who helps make yeah, this show possible. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, once a week, we have a piece of crap, sometimes... Sometimes it's something really elegant, something that you sit back and say, this is really a well-thought-out gadget. And so for that well-thought-out, elegant gadget, let's turn to Chad. This guy, this guy. And that is a great tease because first, I'm going to thank our sponsor for this episode, lynda.com. The more you know, the more you can succeed, and that is why you need lynda.com. It is the only learning company that helps anyone learn creative, software, and business skills to achieve their personal and professional goals. With lynda.com subscriptions, members receive unlimited access to the vast library of high quality, current, and engaging video tutorials across a wide variety of subjects. If you don't know where to start, lynda.com offers its members curated playlists that highlight the most relevant courses you'll need to learn a particular topic, subject, or skill. You can learn WordPress, design and create a website, find a job, create an animation, short video with your DSLR, learn to edit video, and more. This week, they've added courses including project management, illustrator for creative cloud, architectural photography, and AutoCAD for 2014. Now, lynda.com only costs $25 a month for access to Linda's entire course library, or you can pay $37.50 a month and you will be a premium uh, plan subscriber, which includes exercise files that let you follow along with the instructor's project using the exact same assets that they use. You can try lynda.com right now for uh, seven days. Uh, it's a free trial. Visit lynda.com slash gizwiz, uh, and then you can access the entire library. That's over 2,000 courses for free for seven days. That's l-y-n-d-a dot com slash gizwiz. And I truly think lynda.com is a great, great service. You can see Jason showing off getting up and running with Cake PHP. You don't know what that is? Well, you can learn at lynda.com. So thank you, lynda.com, for your support of the Gizwiz and the Twit Netcast Network. Okay, it's time for my my gadget, gadget here. Gadget of the week. Of the week, uh, yeah, air quotes. And it's funny because on the dock, we, we label this as uh, Leo's crap. And I'll just let you run with that theme for the rest of the gadget. <laughs> this happened um, because I was letting someone know about my opinions on this uh, certain product, and we decided that it would be great to actually get it on the Gizwiz and let other people decide. Let other people see the product and decide for themselves if they agreed with me or not. This is called the Squatty Potty. Okay. I'm just going to let that one sink <laughs> in for a second. What do, you, what do you think we're dealing with at the moment, Dick? 
Uh, I think we're dealing with my having a disclaimer that this part of the show has nothing to do with me. Yeah, mm, maybe, <laughs> maybe. This is the squatty potty We don't even have Jeff to blame, Alan. Nope. Yeah, no, I <laughs> nope. bought this. This is Jeff. I, Jeff had to update the Google Doc that we used with my okay. gadget. So if you head on over to the Squatty Potty website, which is squattypotty.com, they explain the merits of this device. Um the base oh, premise okay. is that um, humans were born to use the restroom a certain way because thousands of years ago, we didn't have these nice new porcelain thrones that we have in everyone's house, um, uh, you know, today. And the way that you would, you would do your do is you would squat on the ground. And that's how our internal organs work is to, is to be in that squatting position when, uh, when you do it. So, this, so now that we are in the future and no one does that stuff anymore, perhaps our internal organs not being in the correct position when we use them um, are causing all sorts of health problems. This Definitely seems like pseudoscience to me, um, but we went ahead and bought one of these anyway to test it out. So here's the idea, and we have a kind of okay. a little, a little bit of a setup here. Um, we have a, 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 right. a scenario, right? So, so okay. you're, you're doing. Imagine, if you will. Imagine, if you will. <laughs> this is the old scenario, right? You're sitting here. You got your iPad already. Um, you're browsing your your iBooks. Um, you have some, you know, some toilet paper. We, we kind of went all out for the for this gadget. Wow. This would be the black and white portion of the of the um, uh, infomercial, where it's just like, can you imagine using the bathroom this way? I am so frustrated. There we go. Oh wow! Well. Oh, I can't. I no. can't deal with it. Introducing the Squatty Potty. Wow! And uh, you put it at your feet, just like this. And now this is a seven inches off the ground, and so now you're in the squatting position <laughs> to do okay. your what? do. I, I get it. Right. That's why they call it the squatty potty. Right? Yeah. It, it oh. makes you, it makes but you should squat. You, you know, isn't it unhygienic to actually be doing that in a folding chair? or perhaps, should you, Or in the middle of the studio? That wasn't on the instructions of the squatty potty, oh, so okay, no one will okay. ever know. Oh, this would be in the bathroom. Pop, most likely. Oh, I get it right. now. So they offer seven-inch varieties, which we have here in nine-inch varieties. But of course, like you're saying, we really do need to go actually test this out in a bathroom. Oh, dear. God so help. If, <laughs> if you just follow me, we, we really do I need... I thought we, I was kidding. So okay. we're... Yeah, you know, this is a great Twit Studios. We have people that use the bathroom all the time. If we don't happen to find one in there, maybe I'll just have to demonstrate it just a bit. Oh um, my word! Oh so this is what we we traditionally call my office at, at Twit. Um, and coming Who, on does here, does anybody oh. have Leo's cell phone? Well, oh, I was ahead. I was right. gonna do it, but it looks like is, is someone in there. Hello. Hey, hey, uh, who is this? Okay, so someone someone's using this. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here. Okay, how, how's it going? How's it going back there? Not so good. Not not so good. Well, I have I have a great device for you. I just like you to test 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 this out here. Oh, okay. Goodness. So take that and uh, you're gonna place it underneath your feet. Yeah, just like that. And then go ahead, slide that, and then step on top of it, just like that. Perfect. Now, now how's it how's it how's it going for you in there now? No sound effects, no, please. It's working, good. it's working good. We have a great recommendation, a recommendation, recommendation as well, uh, about the Squatty Potty. It seems like it's working great for that random guy that's in the wow. bathroom. I don't want to say his wow. name because I don't want to embarrass him on the live stream. No, no. How could you embarrass somebody? You know, I, we probably need that <laughs> back. It, I, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it in there. Well, I, I don't think uh, we need it. No, of course, Liz is probably going to take that home. Too. <laughs> Most likely. Um, so that's the Squatty Potty. Comes in seven-inch <laughs> varieties. Comes in nine-inch varieties. You know, can I just ask what? Why? How do you know if you're a seven incher or a nine incher? How do you know that? Uh, I think I think it's internal internal organs. You kind of just you know. measure your internal it's organs. Just know. If there is one thing that I would like to say, and by the way, I did not wash my hands after leaving the bathroom. I'm very sorry. Um, one thing I'd like to say: it seems like this device's main um, function is is to is, basically. I'm going to use the the thing again. Is to uh, and I, I yeah. There you go. Is to raise your knees 
from this position, because I'm in a 90 degree angle, right, to raise your knees up, up higher. Uh, and this is what, if you go to the Squatty Potty website, this is also what they demonstrate. And that's what moves your internal organs to, f to flow better, right? Well, hey, look, it's a random person. A random that has guy. This random so guy. Handed me back the Squatty Potty. Uh -huh. So, right, so this is all it does. Uh -huh. You would think that if you were a smart individual, you could get rid of the Squatty Potty and do a patented self-made maneuver that I'm, I'm patenting for the future, okay? So if anyone does this, pay me some money, okay? Watch, watch what I do. Same thing. It brings your knees up to your chest and your whole organs. Wow. Shift around, we'll, right? call, we'll call that the Chattington. This is the, the, the yeah. Th thanks. thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Great, great. Do the it, Chad it, maneuver. Yeah. It'll be second only to the Heimlich maneuver. So, if you're wondering how much it will cost for one of these squatty potties, yes. um, don't be dismayed by the cost. It's around thirty dollars. Uh, but for wait, there's more. <laughs> Do they have that in there? Uh, no, I mean uh, you could you can get a great move herbal formula. This for a uh -huh. type of care. I don't uh -huh. want to say yeah. out loud. It works. I think I we, can, we can figure that one out. Okay, yeah, you got that one. Okay. Uh, so that's for the uh, Squatty uh, Eco is 30 bucks. Uh, for okay. the Squatty Eco 3-pack, uh, you can get a bulk price of $64. Bulk? Should you use that word with this? <laughs> Eat your fiber, kids. <laughs> and then you can point. also buy the Squatty Potty Bamboo for $80. Oh if this word. wasn't enough, uh, it Does is. You get it, a little step stool. I know. Well, in the, the biggest. For $10? <laughs> you, you would think, but now the squatty potty is it is formed, so you could slide it back underneath the toilet and get it out of the way. Oh, I see. If okay. you if you really okay. want to, it is it is formed plastic. The quality of it is great. I I gotta give it to it. Is it useful? Do you need it? Not sure. That's up to your own brand of of of. Working it out in your own own brain if this is something that you need, um, but that is the squatty potty, uh, and I don't even know who makes this uh, by someone. Um, but yeah, oh, and the, the medical case studies. Yeah, I mean, hey, they have a oh, page yeah, medical, okay. dedicated to it, so it must be true. <sighs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some PDFs. Okay. And they, they have this. I don't know if you can get my my screen, but they have you know this grandma talking about how great the squatty potty was for her. I'm not um, sure I want to. You know, I'm not yeah, sure I want to yeah, listen to yeah. that either. She said, I'm actually going to the bathroom as I'm making this commercial. It's yeah. It's just amazing. So yeah. you can see the... <laughs> <laughs> Wrong screen. Wrong shot. screen. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. That got... Anyway, um, uh, that's Squatty Potty. That's all I have for you uh, today. No, you know what? I'm glad you did it. Only because I've gotten about six emails about this, and I keep saying it's something I can't do. But obviously... <laughs> You, you said, can. That's the worst thing. I would never do this. I said, Chad, you'll never, crazy. I don't care what you say. <laughs> that product will never be on my show. I'm glad, I'm glad I could help out. Uh, <laughs> no, I think that's good. Yeah. I think, I think you're really going out in style. Yeah, no. I think, I think I'm really doing something in style. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it is time for the Gizwiz Gadget Warehouse. Ooh. And there we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> they're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, <laughs> he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Uh, everything is now a metaphor if you think about it. In yeah. Song. No getting away from it. Go ahead, Okay. Dick. Uh, okay, this week's Gadget Warehouse, it's another viewer's video. Now, I think this is the first time this has ever happened where we've used another video from the same viewer. Ooh. A couple of reasons for that is it's a very good video. It's an object I do have in Dick's Gadget Warehouse buried somewhere. And it's also the fact that we're out of videos for Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to see Steve's video and then I'll tell you how you can submit your video. Steve, go! Hey, Steve. Steve, go. Hi, Dick and Leo. <laughs> I'm Steve from Toronto, Canada. And I've got something from my gadget warehouse. It's this. The Sony Walkman WM10. From 1983, this was the smallest audio cassette player. Wow. When folded up, it's the same size 
is an audio cassette case. When opened, you pop your tapes in, your audio tapes into there. It runs on a single AA battery. I use rechargeables because they're much, much cheaper. It has buttons on the side for metal versus normal tapes and Dolby noise reduction. That Very was a big thing back then. Audio files. Oh, wow. Day. I use a, this unit for going to and from school on our subway system. And first, uh, first job I started. I used it so much, I actually burned a unit out. Wow. I had to take it back to the store. And since it was still under warranty, they replaced it with another unit. So this is actually my second one. I'll probably never use it again, but I'll never get rid of it. It's so important to me from those days going back and forth to school. It has since been replaced by a Rio MP3 player and two iPods. That's it. I'm Steve, and this is my gadget from my gadget warehouse. Bye for now. Cool. Now, did he say metal tapes? Yes. Do you remember? That was also another, this was like a big thing to have a a reel-to-reel -reel cassette player that not only had a Dolby switch, but it had a switch to switch between metal oxide tape and normal tape. Oh, so it was the actual tape. It wasn't the, okay, I thought it was like a, a chrome housing and you needed a no, whole no, extra No, 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 no. It was metal, metal-based tape. Got uh, it. Yeah. All right, so if you have a gadget warehouse, and, and Steve at the very end said exactly what the, the, the kind of video that we look for. It's gadgets that you have, they're useless, they're worthless, but you just don't want to part with them. And, and that's how we came up with this gadget warehouse. I have a room in a warehouse two blocks from Disneyland. I pay a stupid amount of rent, almost $400 a month to hold just shells of crap. But if you have a gadget you can't live without, just do as Steve did. Make a two to three minute video, put it on YouTube, send us the link, gizwiz at twit.tv and do it quick because we need one for next week. Um, and, and also... You know, a couple of people are saying, well, you haven't shown my video. Well, some people are sending in like Kickstarter videos. So we're really looking for like mom and pop stuff. So if you send in a video that's like from a TV show or something, that's too professional for us. We want, <laughs> yeah, you know, the bar is low here. As we always say, the bar is so low, you'll trip over it. Um, so just send us a little video, two to three minutes, why I like this gadget, how old it is, if you remember how much you paid for it, and uh, put it up uh, on YouTube and send Jason the link, gizwiz at twit.tv. And Jason, now, now does Steve get more crap since we've shown two Steve. of these videos? <laughs> Uh, Steve does, could get, uh, you could oh. say number two amounts of crap. Mm, well, yeah, you can mm. say that. Um, could say that. Mm. Well, you guys work that out. We'll figure that one out. We'll figure that one out. But meantime, if you send us a video uh, and you get on, you will get some sort of piece of crap. And we're looking for other categories too. I invented this. You know, if you came up with some neat idea, um, my favorite gadget of all time that works for us. Or I bought a piece of crap. If you bought something you really hate, we can't get you your money back. But this is a way to vent your anger and share your anger with others. Uh, Gizwiz at twit.tv, two to three minutes long. Put it on YouTube. Send Jason the link. I may be sending one in. I, I have one lying around that uh, I have in mind that I think would be really fun. Um, oh, you could submit one. I think I might. I think I might. Yeah, because submit we'll one. save money on postage. You can just take a piece of crap exactly. home with you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but you do know that you can't do the squatty potty again, right? No, you but, can't do it. Yet. It's, yeah. No, we don't want that, that on the show no. anymore. Oh. Okay. Ever. You sure? Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Oh yeah. Sure. Darn. Oh, man. Uh, good dick. Do you have a letter for us? I do. Now. 
Now. And this is from David Chansky, S-H-A-N-S-K-E. David writes, I saw a viewer who sent in a video on the handspring visor. Oh, yeah, that was a gadget warehouse from a few weeks ago. Hey, Dick, I'm going to uh, stop you one second because your, your connection just went really bad at exactly the wrong time. Okay. Um, let me give you a call right back. And then Got once it? it irons out, we'll just pick up with the letter, okay? Perfect. Yep. All right, one second. It could have cleared up eventually, but this would be the better way to go. About the it. joke the about party that. you were trying to get is not available oh. right now, but we'll put Dick D. Bartolo on <laughs> instead. All right, we're good. If you just want to start start with yep. the letter, you're all good. Okay. Uh, our letter of the week is from David Shansky, S H A N S K E. And David writes, uh, I saw a viewer send in a video on the handspring visor. That was a warehouse video from a couple of weeks ago. I have a particular affection for this device. It was my first attempt at internet enter being an internet enterpriser. I love the visor because of the target stowaway keyboard. It was the best accessory ever, and it's still available on Amazon. I bought two of them in 2003. God, that's he, he should do a video on the keyboard. Ten years and still years for ago, sale. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, it was a collapsible design. I wish they did this in a Bluetooth keyboard. I carried the keyboard in one pocket, the visor in the other. I could uh, write to anyone anywhere. When they announced the end of the visor... I heard Staples was closing out the accessories at discounts. I bought a stack of GPS modules, cheap, and I sold them on Amazon Marketplace. I was amazed when I got an email from National Geographic. They bought them and wanted more. The visor with the GPS module was perfect for working in the field. They use, this is perfect for this show. They used them to log the coordinates of elephant dung in wow. Africa. I wonder if those so, elephants were squatting. Yeah, Man. so they could track animal movements. Uh, <laughs> best wishes to... Oh, this is good. Best wishes... I'm cutting this down a little. Best wishes to Leo on his upcoming vacation. I hope they find some fun substitute for him in his absence. <laughs> but hopefully I have not odd, OMG Chan. <laughs> I have this odd vision of John C. Dvorak <laughs> fellowing in for the Giz Whiz for some odd reason, even though that seems like a strange fit. David, it's not it's not John C. I mean, we wish it was John C. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think he would do a better job, yeah. Yeah, no, this no. is good. Uh, David Shansky. Uh, David, thank you for your letter. And you see, David even was referring to a gadget warehouse video of someone who loved the handspring visor and sent us a video. So thanks, David. That is really, really cool. And of course, uh, yeah, definitely send in your uh, warehouse videos. I mean, the perfect inspiration is to truly think of that one thing that you keep going through your storage boxes and never throw away. I still have it lying around just because I cannot part with it because um, it's still here. Yeah, 30 years from now, someone will be saying, Martha, why are we keeping this stool? It's such a strange shape. <laughs> that is a squatty potty. It's oh. a squatty potty. Oh, okay. I keep falling off it when I change the light bulb. Yeah, no, it's not made for that. It's made for your internal organs. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> oh, my wife. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, that about wraps up this. Uh, you know, I wanted to mention oh, yeah. two things. Uh, uh, the meetup, Gizwiz meetup, the fourth annual meetup, October 20th. Uh, just go to gizwiz.biz and click on Dick's log and blog. All the details for the meetup, Sunday, October 20th at the Boat Basin Cafe. And also October 9th, I will be hosting an evening of movie satires with Robert Osborne on Turner Classic Movies. And while you're at gizwiz.biz, you can play the what, what the heck the he is it game? What the hell is that? Honestly, the Squatty Potty would have made a really good what the heck. Yeah. You know what? You're absolutely right. I think you ruined it now. I know. Yeah. I know. yeah. You take a look at that. Hmm. And I'm trying to we prefer crazy wild answers for that. 
I think well, this it, is. It, hmm, let me think. I think it is a uh, a way to seal up uh, your bags uh, when you like. You got some chips and you opened it already. I think you can slide it in the underneath the little uh, pink plastic part, and it keeps your chips fresh. Could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah, a saggy baggy. <laughs> it looks. It kind of has like a really interesting. If you look at that shape, and then you also look at this shape, I think they might interplay together. I think that you may have like missed half of, half of. Uh, you know, you're kind of. That's so. That's for like the really big bags of chips. That yeah, one. yeah. Yeah. After a few days, you know. Yeah. yeah anyway. <laughs> you know that's all. Put that around your neck. I think it. I mean, this is good. Queen oh. Amidala. No, when you're flying, you need a neck oh. pillow. Jason, Jason, you know, for football? Mm, yes. Yeah, I know. You I know? think this is a great protective device. Yeah, you know, put a shirt over that and no one's going to fuss with you. When no, you, walk you just walk around, around yeah. all day long. Well, I'm, I'm style, sad because really. I know where this was just a few minutes ago. It's like a, yeah. the, the new way to do shoulder pads for, you know, just stylish purposes. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's good. I feel like, yeah, I feel like this would be in some in some really old, like, you would almost see this in the back, like some extra wearing this in Blade Runner as, yeah, the futuristic styles choice of the future. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, that about wraps up this episode of the Giz Wiz. If you would like to catch future episodes, make sure you head on over to twit.tv slash gizwiz. And there, there are links to subscribe in all forms, high definition even, if you need to see your squatty potties in every single bit of My Detail. I might recommend against that. Maybe you want yeah. the SD or mobile low version. quality uh, version. We have audio only. Maybe that oh, yeah. is what you <laughs> need the best. That's it. <laughs> um, and of course, if you'd like to catch us live, it's always super fun because you can join the chat room, chat along with everyone else who is watching the show. We record on Tuesdays at around 2 p.m. Pacific time. That's 5 p.m. Eastern. And Strangely, since the Squatty Party, there. Is no one in the chat room? Yeah, it but that's seems okay. It's just one of, of those. It's one of those strange. It's kind of empty. I don't. It's just, I think that they were there's so some, odd. Their minds just kind of. There's. I there's think no, they're, they're out. I think they're out uh, ordering that thing. Yeah, there's not much movement in the chat room right now. <laughs> no. Maybe they. Yeah, maybe they need to squat while they chat or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but that about wraps it up. Thank you so much, Dick. Next well, week, I'm flushed with excitement <laughs> that you were able to do this. <laughs> I. I <laughs> I don't, yeah, anyway, uh, Leo will be na back next week. So if you are tired of seeing this redheaded creep on no, your show. No, no, Come on, you're putting yourself down. You you have a a, a, a shaman personality. <laughs> I mean a charming personality. That's right. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and that about wraps it up. See you next time on the Gizwiz. I'll be here. <laughs>